details tonight about a stabbing in Bristow that left one teenager dead and another still in police custody tonight. We first told you about this on Fox 23 News at 5. Since then, Fox 23's Rick Marinon has been digging and speaking with friends and family of both teens. He's live with what he learned tonight, Rick. Shay, I ran into family members at the home where this all possibly took place, and we were told that they have already heard that there's an arraignment date set on some of the charges related to this crime. It's always tragic when you lose a young person like that, like this. Bristow police returned home to their families Tuesday night as they still try to put together what left one family without their 17-year-old son. Investigators found the teen dead under this bridge four miles east of town just as the sun was coming up. Judging by the amount of foot traffic that's been through here with all of the smashed grass and shrubbery like this, it's easy to say that whoever did this likely took this way to bring the boy's body under the bridge. Check of the area revealed what appeared to be an altercation. We started working outward from that, learned that a person had possibly been stabbed. Officers know a stabbing took place Monday night in the driveway of this home. I stumbled upon a family member who tells me a person of interest is Dakota Spainhauer, who was taken into custody. I dug through yearbooks at the local library and found this picture when he graduated from Bristow High. The only connection I could find between Spainhauer and the victim, who we're told is current Bristow High School senior Devin Lundberg, is their jobs at this pizza hut, which was closed, a manager said, for grieving. That's wild, yeah. That's, that's, usually we have no problems around here. Pete King lives just a few doors down and calls the incident unusual. Says the worst his neighborhood has ever dealt with is bad weather. Did you hear anything around 10 o'clock last night? No, or? I did not, nope. Okay. And I was up at 10, went to bed about after the news. From what we've heard from residents around here, especially those active in the school and even those who work over at the Pizza Hut, Lumberg was very active at Bristow High School, and that's why they're going to be holding a memorial service, excuse me, a vigil for him at 8.30 tomorrow night. Reporting live in Bristow, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marinon, Fox 23 News.